Time for another stock review. This time we're talking HIMAX, H-I-M-X. In this review, we're going to give you a profitability score, solvency score, inside trading, who's buying on the inside, who's selling on the inside. Very, very important. We're also going to show you the website, breaking news, dividend payments, uh, latest news, latest back tests, uh, the, the dividend. I mentioned that twice now, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, I'm also going to show you um, the, the profitability, the the margins, the balance sheet, the whole thing. We are talking AI today, semiconductors, technology. We like all of this stuff. So let's get down to it. Let's get in our soldering iron out, look at some semiconductors, and let's talk about HiMax. Should you buy this stock? Is it right for you? Well, full disclosure, this is not financial advice. I don't even own any stocks. I own. I am fully invested in the S&P, however. Why? Because if I own stocks, I'd be biased and I could pump and dump because I rank for a lot of these uh, companies now on YouTube and Google. So I choose not to do so as I like to interview, interview the CEOs on the show. Now, if you are um, in investing in this stock and you would like to have the CEO of the company on my show, you have the power to do it. CEOs like being on my show. I've interviewed a couple already and I've got more to come. They like this style of the show more than Bloomberg and CNBC and Mad Money because I, I talk to them and we have a conversation and get behind the man and the person at the company. And uh, because we rank number one for the stock, uh, many stocks, they like to talk to me. If the news is good, we'll get to it. If the news is bad, We'll get to it. That's why I don't own the stocks. I only own the SMP. I'm fully invested. So this is real information using the most advanced algorithmic software. So you know what you're seeing here is real. So hopefully you can make money and make a wise decision whether it's right to buy a stock, sell it, hold it, or whatever. So let's get straight into the review right now. If you wouldn't mind, tap the like button. Now, if you don't like my content, please do tap the down like button. I encourage it because I'm not trying to grow the biggest and most uh, the most subscribers in the world. I'm trying to grow the best, most honest, most real live YouTube channel uh, and Rumble channel in the world. So please do uh, tap the like button if you like it and down like if you don't. Right, what is HiMax? We're going to start very, very basic, uh, and then we're going to go into more detail as we go down the review. Okay, let's have a look. First of all, HiMax, what is it? As you can see, it's extremely volatile over the maximum period. As you can see, it goes up, it goes down, it goes left, it goes right. Over the last year, we've been trending down 31%. Um, a lot of companies have been doing that recently, but there you go. That's the, uh, the direction of the company. Now, it's an ADR. What does ADR mean? People often ask me what it, they, well, I say they, are, they often ask me. They don't. I just said it. No one's ever, in fact, no one's ever asked me what an ADR is, just so you know. What's an ADR? American Depository uh, Receipts represent shares of a non US based company. Banks issue ADRs to facilitate trading on the US exchanges. Some banks require investors to pay periodic service fees, typically 0.01 cent to 0.03 cent per share. Have you got it? Okay, you got it. Have you asked me before? No, no one's ever asked me. I just said it. It just sounded good. I've got to probably stop saying that. Anyway, here we go. Moving on then, uh, HiMac Technologies is a semiconductor solution provider dedicated to display imaging processing technologies. It operates through the driver integrated circuit and non-driver product segment. The company uh, products include display drivers, timing controllers, water level, sorry, wafer level optics, videos and display technology solutions. Liquid crystal over silicon, uh, over silicon, silicon. Is that a real word? Liquid crystal over silicon, silicon. I'm guessing it is because they know more about it than I do. So I'm going to go with it. Complementary metal oxide semiconductor image sensor and power integrated circuit. 
It's uh, products used in TVs, laptops, monitors, mobile phones, tablets, digital cameras, car, navigation, virtual reality, VR devices, and many other consumer electronic devices. HiMax Technologies was founded by Bling Seng Wu and Jordan Wu on J June the uh, the twentieth, uh, sorry June the twelfth, two thousand one, in headquarters in Tainan, Taiwan. The listed name is Hymax. All right. Now, Jordan Wu, I would like to invite you onto my show. How do we get you on the show? Well, I never message anyone. I just create content and put it out there. I don't believe in it. I don't believe in going, hey, come on my show. Never sold anything in my life. I just do what I do and people find me. But my investors will come to you. So if my investors uh, of this company are watching right now, you can either tag this in social media platforms like Reddit. And a big shout out to Craig, by the way, today. I'll come back to you in a moment, Craig. Thank you for what you've been doing on a Reddit channel. Massive for uh, funware. Uh, come back in the chat and I want to just mention it again. So you can do that, tag it into social media, or you can email Investor Relations and invite Jordan Wu on the show. They love to be on my show because I give them a, a whole new platform and a whole audience that ranks uh, number one very often for the stocks and they can share their great news with me and we have a nice conversation over a cup of tea. Anyway, employees, 2,181 in, uh, in, in Tainan City. Round since 2001, maintenance requirement, even though it's volatile, maintenance requirement is just 25%. Very, very nice indeed. Yes, Craig is here in the chat. Uh, this is being made during a live video. Thank you, Craig. I wanted to thank you for the fun. Is it you behind the fun Reddit channel? Very supportive group. I did uh, go in there and lurk around and saw the wonderful comments. Thank you to you. Uh, you've done very well for that fun video. Thank you. And the, 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 the group you have there are amazing. Uh, right. Very positive, which is unusual for Reddit. So... Wonderful group. Thank you. Market cap, 947. You might want to clip this part of the video and put it up there. Yeah, in fact, do that. Clip this part of the video, put it up there. So I'll say to everybody on the fun uh, Reddit channel, thank you very much for all your support. Wonderful support, great information. And I will continue to make videos for you and help to promote the company that you so love. So I, I really appreciate it. Good luck to your group. Clip that, Craig. Market cap, 947, um, and uh, it is the market cap. Price to earnings ratio, 18.34. Now, is that expensive? We don't know. We have to compare it to the competition. It does have a dividend yield, 8.82. This is interesting, and we're going to look at that dividend yield later in the video. Tap the like button if you like it so far. Click subscribe and ring the bell if you do. If you don't, then you don't. It doesn't matter to me either way. A 52-week high, 8.37. 52-week low, 5.22. Okay, now let's look at the earnings. Let's look at the earnings. It's been going uh, down. Um, their, uh, their most recent earnings was uh, ex estimated to be 11 cents a share. They beat on earnings 13 cents a share. So that's good news. It's, 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 uh, as you can see, it beat on the most recent range uh, and it's trending up again. Very nice indeed. We like to see that. Good, good, good. The company is profitable. Right. Uh, now then, who are we in bed with? In other words, who else are the investors of this company? What else are they buying? Well, United Microelectronics, Plug Power. I, I don't know about United, but I know about Plug Power. Great company. Unfortunately, a lot of really bad people uh, um, trading in the stock, manipulating the stock, lying and scheming and all the rest of it. Not, that's not good. But the company's great. But it means you've got volatile action. Taiwan Semiconductor, a great company. Fuel Cell Energy. This is interesting. Uh, I'm not too sure about the company. I've done some work on it. I need to do some more. Nikola. Well, Nikola... Sorry, Nokia, I beg your pardon. Nokia, I've not researched it and I've not researched Intel. I'm familiar with them, but I've not researched them, so I can't make any judgment at the moment. All right, let's now look at more information before you get your credit card out and decide that you can make money, Mr. Jordan Smith. No idea who Mr. Jordan Smith is. I just found this on the internet and thought I would use it as good B-roll. Do you like it? It's entertaining, isn't it? 
Right, let's have a quick look. We talked about the dividends. Now then, this is important, right? A such a low penny stock, well, it's slightly above, actually. It's $5.41. Technically, it's not a penny stock. But look at this here. I thought I'd share this with you. Uh, in 2013, set 25 cents, 27 cents, 30, 13, 24. So straight away, it's not a dividend king, doesn't have the history, and it also is up and down. It's not really, really, it has paid, but it is unreliable with the amount it pays. 24 cents, 10 cents, uh, 27 cents. Then it jumps to 125 and then it goes all the way back down to 48 cents. Right, now then, but we have a, a bit of information up here and it says here the, um, the, te the, the next HiMac Technologies ADR dividend is expected to go X. Uh, X, div, X in five months and to be paid in five months. Let's have a little look. Um, the previous Hymax ADR dividend was 48 cents. It went, uh, it went X eight months ago and it was paid seven months ago. This is typically one dividend per year and the dividend is, is, is cover is approximately 1.5. Okay, let's have a look. So the most uh, recent one was 12th of July, 2023. So it's an annual dividend, this one. Uh, and uh, it'll be paid in, uh, the ex-dividend date is in May uh, 24, and it'll be paid in July. But we don't know what it's going to be. So if you're buying it from, an, from a, a dividend point of view, it's very difficult because you don't know what you're going to get. It's not a dividend king. It's all it's paid out since it started. However, it's uh, it's you know it, it it can basically up and down by fifty percent. One two five in July twenty two and twenty three it was forty eight cents. So where's it going to go in twenty four? Any anyone's guess? Just don't know. So from a dividend point of view, it's not that reliable. But. There is a dividend element to it. Right, Hymax. Let me bring you some more information on the company that I want to share with you. Hymax is a, a fabulous semiconductor solution provider uh, dedicated to display image imaging processing technologies. Hymax um, is a worldwide market leader in, displayed, in display driver ICs and timing controllers used in TVs, laptops, monitors, mobile phones, tablets, automotive, digital cameras, car navigation, vir virtual reality devices, and many other consumer electronic devices. Now, we do have some latest news on the company just out a few, a few days ago, about a, about a month ago, in fact. This says here, Hymax teams up with uh, Desmond to unveil revolutionary high-end smart door locks at CES 2024. Cutting-edge Sentinel Cat Eye systems, you may have heard of those. Um, remember, there are big companies that are, will have uh, Hymax technology in them. So you've all heard of uh, Sentinel Cat Eye uh, systems. I certainly have. And uh, powered by Hymax WiseEye technology enables 24-7 doorway security monitoring. Hymax, uh, a leading supplier and fabulous manufacturer of display drivers and other semiconductor products uh, uh, and uh, Intelligent Technology, a Chinese leading brand in the smart door market, today jointly announced an advanced high-end smart door lock to be unveiled at CES 2024. The innovative uh, Showtac Sentinel Cat Eye smart door lock features Hymax Hymax's Wise Eye technology with potent uh, vi vision AI and ultra low power consumption as key techn technical uh, characteristics for the realization of 24 7 real time monitoring and consecutive snapshot. This marks a significant technology te technological advancement for power efficiency and security benchmark in smart home security. So we've got an idea of the company, but now we need to look and see if it makes sense. Should we buy this stock? Let's crunch the numbers. Let's go into our virtual studio behind me. Yep, this is my studio. We like to shout at screens and pretend the whole thing needs to be aggressive with headsets that you buy down your local Tandy shop. Remember that back in the 80s? Probably no one remembers that. Doesn't matter. But anyway, we're going to do it. We're going <laughs> to... 
We're going to look at the numbers now. Does the company make sense? Right, let's have a look. Here we go. Valuation. Now then, we only have the base case scenario, which means we don't have all the information plugged in to our system here. Uh, that's just the way it is. The company don't provide it. Overvalued by 32%. Well, can we buy a stock overvalued by 32%? I will pay up to 25% overvaluation for a high growth stock. Is this a high growth stock? Been around for a while. It's up and down. Maybe not. Maybe. I wouldn't have thought so. Anyway, so let's have a look. Do we have any warnings? Uh, no, no warnings on this. So there's no warning saying it's a valuation trap uh, or undervaluation trap, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, it's regarded as relatively accurate. Um, are you prepared to pay 32% over the intrinsic value? What is the intrinsic value? For those who don't know, uh, on the screen there, you can pause that and read that at your leisure if you want to. Do you like that? New feature. Just added that. I just thought of it as I was making it. Right. Now then, we can run a little back test here, which tells us when to buy and sell the stock. Now, this is not financial advice, but it's based upon numbers and facts. Let me run it in real time for you. Let me generate it. There we go. Let's generate the numbers for you. And uh, we can see that over time, statistically, buy when undervalued by more than 20%. Percent, which it's not right now, and sell when overvalued by more than zero percent. This gives you the indication uh, of where it's set. Right, you can use this software yourself if you want to go and uh, if you want to go and check this uh, this this technology. You can, and um, you can see the ranges it provides. I'll give you the link for this in a minute. It's the most advanced algorithmic software. I absolutely love it. All right, it's what I use for all my investment decisions and reviews. Okay, uh, wait till the end of the video or look below in the description. You can get a free version or a paid version. It's entirely up to you. My members get a discount better than anyone else can offer. CNBC, Mad Money, none of them. Bloomberg, none of them give the, uh, the discount I give. And in fact, it makes my membership completely for free if you use the discount for this uh, service. Anyway, uh, revenue is down 4% on the most recent range, 945 million. Operating income down 20% on the most recent range, 43.2 million. But a big spike there. So I'd be looking at the investor pages on their website and see what caused this and see if we can repeat it again. Net income, same thing, big spike, down 27% on the most recent range. But we are expecting to recover from here. But go to the investor pages and see, and you can even use this software to see the events that caused this. Go and do that. I can't do it on this video, otherwise it'd be a three-hour long video. Uh, free cash flow up 64%. That's an improvement. Uh, capital expenditure up 118% over the most recent range. We are now investing on capital expenditure. Okay, operating cash flow. <coughs> we've, we've improved cash flow by 71%. Very nice indeed. Let's look at the balance sheet now. A, a survey on my show has said uh, only 85% 85 of people never read the balance sheet. However, they're quite happy to buy a stock Read the balance sheet, people. Otherwise, you've got no idea what you're buying. The balance sheet is 1.6 billion in assets, 787 million in liabilities. So that's a, an okay balance sheet. But we do hold 204 million in cash. That's great. What about liabilities? How much debt do we have? Long term debt is 34 million out of 787, which equates to. 4.39%. So long-term debt, only 4%. Uh, we do have some short-term debt, though, of 57%. So potentially a lot more debt here piling up. If they don't clear that debt in the short period, it'll move to the long period. Makes sense, right? Efficiency of the company. Well, as we can see, they've got margin, good, some, some margins here, which we cannot rate on their own. You have to compare them to competition. I'll give you the competition in a minute. 28% margin. 
5% operating margin, 5% net margin, 14% FCF margin. That's moving up. ROE, ROE, ROCE, 4%. ROIC 4% and ROA 3%. So we don't we do have positive margins, but again, we got to we got to go and check the competition. So profitability, no surprise, 60%. We've got a nice score there. 60%. Okay? 60% exceptional 3 year average, exceptional 3 year average, a positive free cash flow and positive gross Profit uh, fight channel during the making of this video because we are making it during a live video says balance sheet is rubbish. <laughs> I love it. Have them on the show. Have them on your fight channel. Sort them out. Fight channel. Uh, high max solvency score fifty one percent. So the balance sheet isn't too rubbish. Uh, fight channel because we got a solvency of fifty one percent. Low the D, low DE uh, long term solvency is good. Short term solvency is good. Altman uh, average Altman Z score. The, the balance sheet is okay and the solvency is good. It's okay. It's not great. It's not bright green, but it's not a low amber or a red, is it? Uh, if they can, uh, if that's long, if that short term debt turns into long term debt, then that will drop a little bit. But um, right now, the, the balance sheet isn't too bad. We'll want to find out if they can pay off that debt, that short term debt at least. Anyway or reduce it. Now then, what's Wall Street saying? Wall Street like it. On a worst case scenario, they're saying 23% upside, way above the S&P, 36% on the average, and uh, 55% on the, uh, on, the, on the highest. So Wall Street like it. Competitive landscape. I spoke to you about that. Click above my head uh, or down... Over there, click above my head or down below in the description, you'll find links to my software, the Alpha Spread software. If you use it, you can use it for free or get a premium plan. Uh, and like what I have, it'll do a lot more for you. Uh, if you use my uh, discount code, which I'm putting in the chat as we speak, because uh, I'm making this during a live video, um, you can get my membership for free. My discount will basically make my membership for free. Okay, so it's worth being a member, isn't it? Worth being a member. Right. What about short interest? We've got short interest of 5.55%. There's a bit of short interest. So it is uh, negatively impacting the stock, but it's not enough to give a short squeeze. We don't have the volume and we don't have the... Um, we, and we don't have enough of a short position. Um, there isn't anything else here. So I would expect we will rank number one within a week on YouTube and Google. So if you are an investor and you want to share this on social media, uh, please do uh, contact the, uh, the company and we can get them on the show. There's a very, very good chance that we could impact this stock. Remember, I'm not pumping and dumping it because I don't own it, but you do. And I'm here for my viewers. That's it. All right. Okay. So Let's uh, let's uh, give my final thoughts on this stock. We do have a premiere coming up very, very soon live on the show. So here's my final thoughts on it. Hi, Max. Would I buy it if I was buying uh, stocks? No, I actually wouldn't buy it if I was buying stocks, not because I don't like it or it's no good. I would prefer um, a, a an ETF of this kind of th this in this sector because it's very hard to choose the winner. Um, so I wouldn't buy it anyway. But is it worth a buy? Well, um, if you're buying it for the dividends, I mean, let's just look at it over the maximum period. If you're buying it for the dividends. Over the period, uh, the maximum time, you're down 40%. But the stock does spike, now, which is unusual for this kind of sector. I, I don't know why, and I'd need to do more research and maybe I'll do a follow-up research. But uh, it does spike up and down, potentially a great stock to trade, potentially. The dividend payment, however, you don't really know what they're going to pay. So far, they've been paying annually. But it's an annual dividend, so is that much use to you? You've got to wait a whole year for it, and you don't know what you're going to get. So you don't know what you're going to get on the dividend payment. The stock is extremely volatile. Maybe it's a good stock to trade. Maybe it's a good, in fact, I would say it's a definite stock to trade because the balance sheet was okay. They're not going bust. This might not be a long-term position, but because they're not going bust and they do have some good news, we talked about that at the beginning of the video, the balance sheet is okay. They've got cash as long as that long term, that short term debt doesn't become long term debt. 
maybe at the level where it is at the moment in its downtrend, you could buy this because I would expect anything to do with technology and AI uh, and chips and everything else, which is what they do to grow in the future. Maybe this, maybe this level where it's at at the moment is on paper overvalued, but through history, it looks like you can trade it and maybe hold it until June when you get the dividend, potentially. That's my thoughts on it. I will I will look at it again and I will follow the history of this and see how it all pans out. Anyway, so there you go. Click above my head for all the links, uh, my social media links and uh, and the links to Alpha Spread, which is what I use. Down below in the description as well, go and check it out with all my links. And over here, all my reviews. I've reviewed countless uh, stocks and I'll review them for you. It's a, it's a free perk. If you're one of my members, I'll do it for you. And if it's a small company uh, like this and not much news, it's very easy for me to rank now on Google and YouTube. If the news is good and I'm saying it's a potential buy, a potential trade, the stock will more than likely go up uh, after about a week with my with, uh, as my videos start to trend. Anyway, there you go. Thank you very much indeed for that request. That was for Paul Knowles, one of my members. Until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.